The prosecution and defense made their final cases to the jury in Thomas Clayton's murder trial in Steuben County Court today. They're each presenting their version of events regarding Clayton leading up to the death of his wife Kelly in September 2015. And WENY's Logan Wilson joins us now live from the courthouse in Bath with more on closing arguments. Logan. Nick and Renata closing arguments in Thomas Clayton's murder trial lasted nearly six hours today as both the prosecution and the defense made their final cases to the jury. Now the day began with the defense presenting their final closing arguments, presenting their case to the jury. Defense attorney Ray Schlatter made his case under seven points to the jury. He showed the jury evidence that fits his theory, a rush to judgment, as well as his theory, an incomplete investigation. The defense cited the body camera video from Steuben County Sheriff's Deputy Dean Swan, where Swan referred to Clayton as the suspect and the incident domestic violence. The defense then pointed out no forensic evidence that connected Thomas Clayton to his wife's death. Schlatter also pointed out no financial motive, stating Clayton was very well well off. The defense also pointed out the ordinary events in Clayton's life that pointed that were pointed out in this case, like the poker game and driving different cars on a regular basis. The defense also said Clayton wanted to help Beard, saying Clayton believed Beard could be redeemed. The defense said Clayton didn't know the rage Beard had inside of him. Lastly, the defense said the case doesn't make sense. Schlatter said Thomas Clayton loved his wife and he did not want her dead. Now, coming up on WENY News at 6, I'll tell you about the prosecution's three and a half hour closing statements, what arguments they made to the jury. I'll have that coming up for you on WENY News at 6 o'clock. But for now, reporting from the Steuben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News. Well, the prosecution and defense both made their final cases today to the jury in Thomas Clayton's murder trial in Steuben County Court. They each presented their version of events regarding Clayton leading up to the death of his wife Kelly in September 2015. And WENY's Logan Wilson joins us now live from the courthouse in Bath with more on closing arguments. Logan. Nick and Renata, as I told you on WENY News at 530, Thomas Clayton's defense attorney Ray Schlatter spent two and a half hours this morning presenting their final case to the jury. This afternoon, the prosecution spent nearly three and a half hours making their final arguments. Special District Attorney Whedon Wetmore began by stating an old proverb, murder will out. In his closing statements, Wetmore went through much of the cell phone evidence connecting Michael Beard and Thomas Clayton. He focused on the 12th. 12 days leading up to Kelly's death, reminding the jury of many phone calls between Beard and Clayton, even after Beard was fired from SurfPro. Wetmore also reminded the jury of the alleged truck swap between Beard and Clayton hours before Kelly's death. Wetmore told the jury no one is better at living a double life than Thomas Clayton. Wetmore then read testimony from the woman who testified to having affairs with Clayton. The prosecutor read to the jury the statements Clayton made to those women about Kelly being lazy, saying he didn't love Kelly anymore and that he wanted to divorce her, but said she would take everything from him. Wetmore also pointed out that Clayton didn't have any blood on him when he found Kelly, saying he didn't even touch her. Wetmore also pointed out Clayton's 911 call where he asked his kids if they saw a robber. Wetmore asked the jury if that's what they'd ask their kids if they found their wife tragically beaten to death. Wetmore ended his closing statements by saying Clayton was Beard's lifeline. He also showed the jury pictures of Kelly Clayton that caused many family members in the courtroom to get emotional. Now, tomorrow, court will continue, and Judge Peter Bradstreet will begin by reading the charges to the jury. He'll do that before the jury begins deliberation. Now, for all updates on jury deliberation in Thomas Clayton's murder trial, you can follow me on Twitter, and as always, stick with WENY News for the latest updates. But for now, reporting from the Steuben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News.